you do not have any language like PLSQL. But Oracle definitely it is having both this SQL and PLSQL. That is one of the very good feature of Oracle. And these are full fledged programming language. Third, security. Its data is stored in encrypted files. And uh, literally, it is very difficult to hack into an Oracle database. It also has a lot of features like uh, protection against SQL injection attacks. That's why Oracle is very much preferred in banking and insurance. So it has a, uh, it not allow any users to access database by unless they provide proper uh, username and password, login credentials. So well. Next is storage capacity. I think Oracle is one of the, it can have one of the largest storage capacity out of all the databases in the world. You can store as much data as you would like to store in an Oracle database. There is no limit uh, to Oracle site. So storage is uh, not at all a problem in Oracle database. Next, performance. Oracle, and it has been tested as one of the fastest database in the world. Uh, there, there is a benchmark testing for Oracle at almost around uh, 30,000 transactions per minute. It could complete around 30,000 transactions per minute. For a 2 term when they did for SQL Server, a 2 terabyte database, it could go up to something like 10,000 transactions per minute. So speed of very high performing database. It uses less system resources, but Oracle and Linux, Oracle and Linux operating system is one of the fastest uh, data. Next is uh, manager. See, uh, Oracle database uh, has gone to a very uh, different level from Oracle 10G onwards, where they introduced some and we need to store massive amount of data. A Haskell volume manager is a software using which we and after clubbing those bits, we can store data by striping across the data. Talking about that, one managers allow you to store huge amount of data across multiple disks. Uh, but they are very costly. Volume managers are very costly. Like for example, uh, they are costly products and they need a, need a Veritas uh, and install Veritas software. But coming to Oracle 10G onwards, we have a built-in volume manager in the Oracle database itself. So we don't have dependency on third-party volume managers. So this is a very big feature. No manager built into the database itself. And the good thing is SM, automatic storage management is a free of cost feature. Big advantage So many companies, uh, they prefer Oracle because it supports clustering. Clustering is uh, basically uh, having multiple servers will serve the users. In case any one server fails, the users who are connected to that server will be filled over to an alt. Uh, clustering is another uh, good feature of uh, Oracle. Uh, basically, that is what we call as real application clusters, RAC, the recovery site, that is data guard. So, data guard is a technology in Oracle which will allow you to set up a database or a production database. You can prepare a standby for that primary database. In case your primary fails, so you can fail over to standby. You can fail over to standby database and continue. Very much interested to use Oracle all over the world. Yes, it has some disadvantages. What? Yeah. 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 Yes, data guard. Correct. Okay. We will use data guard to set up the uh, DR site. So, disadvantages of using very high compared to like uh, roughly, I am telling you a rough figure 47 per CPU core. So, this is very expensive. Dual cores per core. Then you have to pay for both the processors per core. So, it's good. So, big MNC companies they don't mind paying this kind of money. Not a problem for financial institutions or stock exchange or some uh, oil uh, research company database with good support from the company. Second, uh, yeah, this is uh, 47,000 is uh, the production cost. Production cost uh, yes, yes. Yeah. 
enterprise edition oracle enterprise edition okay but uh, you will get uh, cheaper uh, versions like standard edition for uh, half the cost okay so that's that's we, we that we right? same 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 it is whether it is development or uh, when you buy enterprise edition it will you can download oracle and install it and then talk with oracle that it's not a production system so you have internal so many licensing policy Yeah. So definitely they will mm -hmm. help out. Even they sometimes uh, I had they have uh, they wanted a DR, but they don't have Enterprise Edition Oracle. They are using Standard Edition Oracle. So they purchase only Data Guard as a package from Oracle Corporation, and they install that. So there is no requirement to buy the entire Enterprise Edition. So actually, only basic features will be there in Standard Edition. Yeah. Next, other than the cost, the next uh, big thing in Oracle is. Uh, the difficulty actually difficulty level of implement for a person who is a novice or new comer to oracle technology let's say somebody has been new to oracle definitely they will find it a little bit more difficult than sql server very recently i have got some person in uh, us only so she was working on sql server for so many years and then a uh, company there so she she said from the very uh, first or second class that this is a much more complicated database compared to sql server the fact is that actually sql server is also very complicated but server there is no requirement to go into great depth but in coming to oracle database there is a requirement to understand the dba concept i mean they cannot understand the concepts properly learn its architecture like to learn So level of implementation difficulty level definitely it is more challenging than other databases. But then don't mind learn higher level as they work, so that they will even get better salaries. And this database itself is in demand. There is a lot of requirement for people who are experts on this database. So the, probably these are two main disadvantages of. I will just put a some more. Okay, so infrastructure requirement will be there. Like for example, not in normal Oracle DBA require much more infrastructure for implementation than a single computer problem. But uh, coming to real application servers, you will need a shared storage device. You will need tables, custody cards, and uh, you require lot of software. So it is uh, on the high side, especially when you go for clustering. Maybe I will not talk about much infrastructure because it is non-rack environment. So. Uh, but definitely the advantages are more so people are not that much so worried about uh, this cost and other things like that okay now let's uh, go through uh, the course let's just put this notepad on the side for a few moments this course is going to progress and up to what extent will you be learning this course definitely you can very easily manage a job of something like 3 to 4 years experience not a problem But uh, more than that, I am exposure. But still, students who studied under me, they are managing and they are able to work. And uh, there is no such a big critical issue. Like some people even shown five, six years or seven years experience and join companies. This work also. They they get any doubts? They used to uh, just uh, send a mail to me or something, and I can clarify that up that way also. But overall, this course is uh, at. Par with the Oracle Corporation or topics compared to Oracle Corporation. So let's have a look at that. First of all, is the Oracle architecture critical topic. There is no specific practical over here. Practical is Oracle software. You create an Oracle database. So what is the structure of that database? Okay. What is the physical database? What is the logical database? What are the file database? As you can see here, Oracle file structure. Control file, read log file, data files. Basically, what is control file? What is the use of control file? What is read log file? What is its use? What is data file? What is its use? So this is a file structure of Oracle database. Next is logical database structure. DBA point of view. Know that there is something called as database object, like table or view, index, etc. Here we are talking about logical database structure. Type of thing which you will learn in DBA, like table space. If I tell you the concept over here, later I can explain very detail what is table space and what is table space management. There will be entire topic, nothing but Oracle user, like Scott user. 
So at least initially, first I will tell theory what is schema and what is the use of a schema rather. Then later we can study user management, wherein we will do nothing but management of schemas. Okay. So under first logical database structure, DBA point of view, not a SQL point of view. Okay. Next. What is Oracle instance? What is communication between the application and the database? If for example, there is a application running on one server and the database is running on another server, DBMS, database management system. Database is basically your control file, regular file and data file, storage. Database is storage. Instance is the management system. Management system, DBMS, management system is instance, which is this. That is the meaning of that. So if you don't have an Oracle instance, you can't communicate with Oracle database. Because instance is consisting of two parts. One is the memory, which I have shown here, Oracle SGA, system global area. And second is the process list. So first of all, we have to understand what is instance, what are the memory components in the instance, this SGA is there, what is SGA, inside SGA, what all do you have, and what are the Oracle background processes. Once you are understanding about the instance, then you can understand how the select query, update, delete, insert, commit, how they execute inside the database. Supposing a user is writing SQL select query, select something from some table name where job is equal to some job. So how does that actually internally execute? So that you will come to know when you study execution of select, update, delete, insert. It's not difficult. For all these things, I have prepared the step-by-step -step document also. I will share the document with you. So then you can also go through those things. Next. You will also see in architecture what is undo table space, what, how rollback will execute, what is read consistency. So many things are there to learn in architecture and you will then see the background processes like what is log writer process, what is database writer process, what is log switching, log group status, what is archiver process, system monitor, checkpoint. All these things you are going to learn in architecture. So architecture as I was saying earlier, purely theoretical topic. It will go on for at least around one week's time. So Every day we will learn some part of architecture, then associated uh, file I will send to you and then you from there on keep on proceeding ahead slowly slowly. Next. Once you are done with Oracle architecture, then you are in a position to understand how to install and create an Oracle database. So then you come to the database creation part, installation of Oracle on Red Hat Enterprise Linux file. Oracle 11G installations, database creation. So we are going to work on Linux. Okay. So little bit of Linux commands you should practice before understanding. So I, I will show you the installation. I will be working on VMware. So on a virtual machine, I will install Red Hat Enterprise Linux. On that, I will install Oracle 11G release to 32 bit, and then I will create database manually. See in Oracle DBA, I will tell you one thing, there are two ways to manage DBA. One is manually by writing SQL commands. Another way of doing DBA is to GUI, Graphical User Interface, by using Oracle Enterprise Manager. The fact is that some people, they will teach Oracle DBA through Oracle Enterprise Manager. But that is not suitable because when you go for interview, they will ask you SQL syntaxes and SQL approach to DBA, not GUI approach to DBA. Therefore, I never go for GUI. Completely we are going to work on command line and we are going to do lot of commands. That will be somewhat additional burden to you, but at the end of the day, you are the one who will benefit by learning that way. So, installation on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, 11G installation, database creation. Here in database. Uh, yeah, in practice, uh, 
or the database is created uh, using the enterprise, uh, sorry, uh, 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 we have one software DBCA database configuration assistant you can see no problem it is very easy no problem so if you want this, to what is preferred basically uh, I mean what do you want to you do when you uh, want to create a database have you got your see, own scripts if it is a uh, generally we are coding the scripts ourselves because uh, at the time of creating database we will create so many table spaces etc and uh, generally we are coding the commands but uh, if it is a, a small site and if they want to create a database instantly uh, definitely we can use database configuration assistance also no, no problem that will uh, help basically to avoid all the SQL and create a standard Oracle database in a fast manner. Okay, do you use uh, the enterprise uh, manager as well? Uh, enterprise manager also we use sometimes, not every time. Generally we are monitoring manually only, but uh, many companies are using enterprise manager nowadays because uh, it is a little bit easy to monitor the database from there and they are having separate tabs like for performance tuning one tab is where you go over there you will get all performance statistics about the database so in a way that is also good no doubt about that and I will show you enterprise manager also but enterprise manager type of utility it is uh, requirement is that you should configure it first of all and it will use some resource in the server while it is running as it is a basically a Java application so some companies they don't want to waste any resource so they may not use enterprise manager to very large extent okay